Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you my skincare routine. This is a part 2 to my last video, so if you haven't seen that, please check the link down below. First, I'm going to start off with Vaniclean Cleanser, and I use this in the shower. Next up, I'm toning my face with Thayer's Witch Hazel Rose Petal Toner. This is my favorite because I love the smell of rose water, and this one is alcohol free, so I recommend it to everyone. After I apply the Caudalie Vinyl Perfect Essence, this is this is new. This is a new product that I've been trying out. Um, it's got glycolic acid in it to help with my scarring, and so far so good. Alright, so next up we have the Caudalie Vinyl Perfect Serum to follow up. I've been using this for quite a while now. It also has glycolic acid to help with my scarring. I find this serum in particular to be gentle um, in comparison to the Drunk Elephant one, which I've used before. Um, but I definitely prefer this one because I can use it daily and uh, both day and night. Next up, I'm using Niacinamide Serum from The Ordinary. I've used about two bottles of this, and this is supposed to help with uh, calming down redness and any active breakouts. Next up, I have Hyaluronic Acid Serum from The Ordinary, and I recently added this into my routine about a week ago, and so far, so good. Um, hyaluronic Acid holds a thousand times more water than its own weight, so I highly recommend it for those with dehydrated skin. Next up, I'm using CeraVe's Moisturizing Cream, and this is my favorite because it's thick, it's moisturizing, and it's malassezia safe. If you find that this particular moisturizer is a little bit drying or doesn't feel like it's moisturizing enough, um, that is because it's got MVE technology, which basically means that it doesn't release its moisturizing properties right when you apply it to, uh, on your face, but rather throughout the day. And in order to fix that, I recommend adding a few drops of squalane oil. Next up, I'm using Roto Skin Aqua Sunscreen, and this is my favorite because it's lightweight, alcohol-free, fragrance-free, doesn't leave a white cast, and it's malassezia safe. Applying sunscreen onto your face while you're using a chemical exfoliator like glycolic acid is extremely important because you don't want the sun to interfere with your hyperpigmentation healing process. Last but not least, some Vaseline Rosy Lip Balm. Moving on to the nighttime routine, which I think is the most important, starting off by removing my eye makeup using the Garnier All-in-One Micellar Water, which is the one with the blue cap. Personally, I don't like to tug on my eye too much, so I applied the cotton pad with the makeup remover on my eye for about a minute or two to let the makeup remover do its own thing, and then I will wiggle it a little bit to get the mascara off because I use waterproof mascara. Next up, I'm going to use the Softimo Speedy Cleansing Oil to remove my face makeup, and this might be my third or fourth bottle. It's uh, mineral oil based, but I'm not 100% sure if the other ingredients are malassezia safe. I just haven't had an issue with it yet. To apply this, I dispense three pumps into my hand, and then apply a little bit at different areas of my face rather than all at once because it drips a lot. 
Also, I like to focus this product in areas such as my hairline, my temples, and then my nose area just because that is where I notice I get the most uh, gunk to come out. And if you ever use cleansing oil, you know exactly what I mean. Alright, so next up, I'm going to cleanse my face with the Vanna Cream Facial Cleanser and exfoliate. Yes, I'm going to exfoliate my skin. In my last video, I said do not exfoliate your skin because it could exacerbate your fungal acne. Um, but in my case, my fungal acne has gone down significantly. Also, I was developing dead skin on my forehead. Um, the way that I distinguished between dead skin and fungal acne bumps was that the bumps were rounder, they were lighter in color, and if I squeezed them, um, I had the sebum come out, but the dead skin, they were harder, they were smaller, and nothing came out of them. So you can think of them as grapes and raisins. And I noticed that when I exfoliated once, um, the dead skin went away completely just by that one time. So I started exfoliating my skin once a week, and uh, so far so good. So on this particular night, I decided I wanted to do a nasal treatment because I haven't done it in a while. So as you can see, I apply it on my forehead and my chin area. So those were the two areas that I had the most problems with um, in terms of fungal acne. And I left it on for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I rinse off the Nizoro shampoo and then I go straight into toning my face. Next up, I'm going to use the Caudalie Essence and Serum, except this time I'm going to leave the serum on for at least 20 minutes to let the glycolic acid do its thing before applying anything else on. Once 20 minutes is up, I'm going to use the same two serums I used earlier in the day, which are the Niacinamide Serum and the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. As a nighttime moisturizer, I like to use squalane oil, which is malasidra safe, and I apply this to my face and my neck. So next, I'm going to apply Vaseline onto my face, um, especially in areas that I may have scabs or I noticed during the day that it was a dry patch. And of course, last but not least, I'm going to apply some lip balm. If you found this video helpful and you liked it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.